Hello, welcome, thanks for joining me. We are still on the Yule Edoche entanglement. Both Yule and his new wife Judy haven't stopped speaking since the announcement of their marriage and son. The first wife, May, only said five words, may God judge you both. While the offending party have gone on a pathetic campaign of self-idulation, the latest of which took place on Sunday evening, when Madam Judy took to Yule Edoche TV channel on YouTube to waste 11 minutes and 59 seconds of everybody's time. In her monologue, she claimed to be a nice person, and I must agree with her, she exudes niceness. In most of her videos on social media, she's often upbeat and chatty, but she is not kind. We often use niceness and kindness interchangeably when describing people, but that is wrong because they are two different things. Niceness is a self-centered behavioral pattern where you are acting in a pleasing manner. Nice people are agreeable, easily manipulated and used just like she confirmed. I'm nice to a fault actually. People use me, I have all my friends, I mean I have most of my friends they use me because you know people are users. Kindness is an other centered behavioral pattern where you are acting in the best interest of others out of a sense of love empathy and compassion kind people are selfless nice people are selfish that's just the basic difference between those two kindness help us set boundaries for instance i won't date a married man because i don't want to hurt another person and destroy their family which will cause irreparable damage to their children in this case you have self-reflected on your actions before taking them this boundary is an exercise of compassion clearly judy and yol are not kind people they are nice but kindness is far from them in her video she claims she has her side of the story and yes there are two sides to every story but that is irrelevant unless her side of the story is yol took liberties with her lied to her raped her uh, told her he was leaving his wife which wasn't true i can't imagine what her side of the story would be all people can hear right now is husband snatcher no one is receptive enough right now to hear her side of the story no matter how relatable it is the fact is you knowingly with malice a photo bamba with a married man what would the alternative be that he fell into your nether region both yol and judy seem to have a financial plan in all of this they have started a massive ad campaigns on their social handle. At least they are making the most of their recent attention. On TikTok, Judy has gone unhinged with triggering posts designed to shock people into talking to keep her in the news circle for much longer. <laughs> I can see you are very jealous. Pepe, go and jump in the lagoon. I beg, if you hear anything about me, continue. Please keep it, add your shy, edit it, promote it. <laughs> I don't have time to explain myself to fools. If she is kind, she would know this is causing someone else pain. How about Yol's kids who are grown enough to be on TikTok? What if they see this post? The most then was the one on Baby Star's Instagram page. A child born by two angels. Does that mean the others were better by an angel and a demon? This whole saga is confusing. 
It feels staged. It's unreal. These two people are just running around all over the internet, putting on posts left, right and center without caring what the woman is going through. There are children and a woman involved in all of this. Actually, this could be classified as domestic violence. This woman must be going through a lot emotionally. You don't have to beat her to abuse her emotionally. This is abuse in itself. Let's be kind for humanity's sake. Let's be kind for posterity's sake. Anyway, these are my thoughts. Let me hear yours in the comment section below.